Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the street lights to work on your DAISY server. It's a very simple code you guys have to follow, even though it may look really complicated, but it really isn't. Uh, what this basically does, it just adds the pumpkin helmets on the street lights all over Livonia. Now, if your server is on Chernoris, this is not for Chernoris, this is just for Livonia. Um, but hopefully, I'll get my hands on the code for Chernoris as well, and as soon as I do, I'll make a video about that. Now, let's get to the coding. Now, to show you guys how to actually add these uh, uh, codes to your server, we're going to be uh, opening the Daisy Offline Enoch folder, obviously, because uh, this is for Livonia. The first folder you want to start with is the Math Group Proto. Uh, once you're in that file, just go ahead and highlight everything. Use it, obviously, doing Control A to highlight everything, and then copy and paste it onto the online validator which I will leave a link for down in the description below uh, and also I'm gonna be leaving a link to the uh, entire code in the description as well and you guys can just access it right away now the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and highlight the entry the new entry for the map group proto folder and just paste it right below the defaults line over here. Now, if you've done anything wrong, it'll tell you that the uh, XML is not valid, and obviously that's a no-go, so make sure you do it correctly, and if it's valid, just go ahead and paste it onto the map group proto folder. Uh, saving these changes, the next folder we would want to access would be the map group position dot xml just go ahead again and highlight the whole thing copy and paste it onto the validator back to the paste bin and grab the entire code for the map group position folder which what this, what this does basically it makes sure that all the pumpkins do spawn in on the street lights so this is obviously really really important now just paste it right below the very last uh, group name if you'd like or at the very top it doesn't matter once you paste it in again control a and drop it onto your map group position folder saving those changes we go back to the daisy offline enoch folder the next thing we want to do is go ahead and open the limits definition and back to the paste bin. We want to add these tags and usages and category on there. Now the reason I'm not using the uh, validator for this is because it's a very simple process because you really can't go wrong with it but if you still want to be safe just go ahead and do it on the um, validator. Just make sure you drop the usage where the usages are and the tags, the tag where the tags are and same for the category. Oops, I almost, okay. Now, where's the tags? That's the tag name. And now let's just add the category. This is the very last thing to add to that folder. Once this is done, just go ahead and save the changes. The very last folder you want to be accessing is the uh, types.xml, which is in the DB database. Now what we want to make sure we do here is find the pumpkin. It should be there already, but it's not in my types.xml. But control F and just search for pumpkin and uh, just find the pumpkin. I'm pretty sure it's not on my types.xml. 
but it, it's there's a big possibility it's on yours. Once you get to the pumpkin helmet, just go ahead and copy this whole thing. Get the end tag as well. And just, for example, drop it right on it. But in my case, I'm just going to make a new entry for it. And there you go. The file is valid. Control A, copy, and paste that in. Save the changes. There you go. It's very simple, honestly. And just hit restart and let there be light on your server. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, really appreciate the support I've been getting on my videos lately. Uh, please do like and subscribe for more Daisy content.